So now we are going to see Hello. Yeah, now we are going to see how to configure those promotions because when I created the promotions in the transaction code WAK1, I gave the promotion type 001. Okay. If you see the choices, you have so many. Okay, which means that there are so many promotion types available. Okay. What makes one promotion type different from the other promotion type? So that is what we are going to see in the configurations. Okay. So let me go back, not go back, let me go to the STRO screen, STRO. And there already. Yes. Okay, fine. IMG. Logistics in general. Retail promotion. Promotion category. Promotion themes. Promotion types. Okay. Promotion category is like you will say, okay, so this is a, uh, this is a just one kind of entry. That's it. So you can say this is a seasonal promotion. Or sometimes like, Suddenly you notice that your competitor is setting up a store uh, in the same suburb as where your store is located. Okay, So you are going to run a add up promotion that is not related to any season. So you might want to create a new category called the uh, competitor promotion. Okay. Or sometimes, like let us say, uh, suddenly there is a uh, World Cup or Olympics that is going to happen in your country or in your, okay. So that is not a every year activity, okay. So this is a special scenario, okay. So to cash on that, uh, what is the euphoria or hype, you might want to run a promotion saying that, okay, this is a, a sports um, or Olympic promotion or World Cup promotion kind of thing. So this is just a four-digit code with a description that says it doesn't have any control associated with that. Okay. Then you have the promotion theme. So this is what we spoke. Okay. You can create a new from for example like you can create say that the theme of this promotion is Diwali. Okay. So you can start this promotion can start um or Ramzan. Okay. So this promotion can start uh, from one month before the function festival starts and it can go up to two weeks later that festival is over, okay. But you might want to have small, small promotions uh, running during that time, okay. So this is how you, that is why you create a theme, promotion theme. This also is a four-digit alphanumeric code that doesn't have any control, that's it, okay. However, the most important one that is controlling you is the promotion type. So, if you see the promotion type, so let us take a promotion. Okay. So, what does the promotion control? It, con it says what is the category to which this promotion type belongs to. Okay. And next is create CP, purchasing price conditions. SP is the sales price conditions and DC is the distribution specific transfer pricing. Okay. So, when the distribution center Sends the material to the store. In the two-step pricing, we had noticed that there is a transfer pricing that is being created. Whether you want to create a DC specific pricing, if you want to, you have to enable this. Okay. And at what level the prices have to be activated at? Okay. Either at the distribution channel level, which means like all the stores that come under that particular distribution channel will have this price or you might want to say that I want the price to be determined based on the stores or that is a site or a group of stores or you might want to create it based on the price list okay. and it says what is the purchasing price determination sequence. So if you notice in the retail pricing, we have two sequences. One is the purchasing pricing determination sequence and another one is the sales price determination sequence. The purchasing price determination sequence is a standard one which says this is my purchasing price. On top of that, I am going to add this marker and arrive at the landed cost. 
Okay, so this is how you do that. Okay, since it was not populated here, when we were creating the promotions, we got that bleep saying that we are purchasing price sequence missing. We populated the zero one here. And if I populate it here itself, then it will be automatically taken in the promotion uh, table itself. Okay, and it is the list group. Okay, so at what levels the prices should be activated at? Okay, and what is the list variant? List variant is nothing but when you are creating the sales price for material in the screen, there are columns, right? So this is uh, if you go to yeah, it has you can see that in the transaction code EKP5. So what are all the components that are involved in the retail price calculation? So that displaying that is called as a display list variance. So what is the list variance you are going to use? Okay, and in our case, we had seen simple. You, I have one purchasing price, I have one sales price. Okay, but in case if your vendor have you have multiple prices and you wanted purchasing prices, you have multiple uh, condition types related to purchasing price, and you want to use all of them in your uh, purchasing price calculation, then you have to group them and assign that group here. Similarly, if you want to group the sales related condition types like your sales price, promotion price, any discounts, then you have to group them together and assign it here. Okay. This is the organization level at which the promotions are going to be activated at. And if you are giving discount as a part of your promotion, so, okay, in this uh, scenario which we had seen, we have created a special purchase price and we have created a special sales price. Okay, that is lower than, lesser than the normal sales price. Okay, but sometimes you don't want to have a special sales price. You might want to have the same sales price, but you want to differentiate the promotion by assigning a discount type. Okay, then what is the discount condition type you are going to use? Okay, if I am going to use the percentage, so let me say like I am going to give two percentage discount, then the condition type for which I have to create the condition record is the condition type K02. If I am going to use the absolute discount, which means 2 euros or 20 cents per piece, which a flat discount, then I have to give the condition type according to that. Okay. So this is a number range internal assignment. So whenever you are creating a promotion, it, it generates a number, 1, 4, 0, 10, 11. So the last one we created is first 14. Okay, how does this number come? Because of the number range internal assignment. Okay, so if this external range is left blank, which means you will not be able to assign the number uh, externally to the promotion. Promotion. Okay, and other than this, these are all the controls. Like, what is the lead time you are going to take for procuring the materials for this promotion? That is the lead time purchasing. Follow on time purchase means like uh, what is the time period you have to take to follow up? Okay, uh, then lead time listing. Okay, so what is it? So when you are going to create the listing conditions, before how many days you can create a listing condition? For example, like if I am planning for a promotion in December of this year, 2018, I have a lot of time left. I need not create a promotion today saying that the promotion is going to have so and so value. All I can do is that I can create a, a listing condition maximum. Of, I can create a promotion. That's not an issue. Okay, but I will not be able to create the prices for that or a uh, listing for that. Uh, okay. So I will be able to list the material for a particular promotion only 30 days because of this configuration of 30. Okay. Then you have the announcement later. Before how long you will be able to uh, say it, announce to the store. And what is the allocation table type? So we notice that whenever we are say say me like we create a promotion and do the subsequent functions in that you have the allocation table generation. Okay, when you are 
generating allocation table it just creates a table okay but when you are creating allocation tables by manually online so what are things you do you give a separate allocation table type okay but in this case system didn't ask if that is a, if that is a scenario then what type of allocation table did the system use to create for my promotion that is defined here okay the allocation table type 1000 you can see what are all the controls of this allocation table and how it differs from the standard allocation table 0001 in your configuration part so this i leave it as a homework to you okay and what should be my announcement category okay and what should be the message schema to determine the condition records for the output generation okay so this is what if i see the other promotion promotion of sales okay how does it differ in the previous one the promotion category was 001 it is 002 okay in the previous condition we didn't create dc conditions so you just created a sales price you just created a purchasing price no intermediate or transfer price but when we are using the condition type of 002 the system is going to create the dc conditions okay and in the previous one 001 you activated the prices for the whole distribution chain irrespective of whether the sites are participating um or sorry irrespective of whether the sites are participating in the promotion or not you created the price activation for the whole distribution chain whereas for 002 it is only for the specific site groups which you are mentioning in your promotion planning okay so here then if you don't have the purchase determination price in this particular chain here i am not going to use any uh, condition grouping for my purchasing as well as the sales okay and this promotion belongs to which sales organization okay i normally use ww01 so i haven't used this so there is a reason this then as per this promotion configuration there is no discount provided to the customer okay and you have a specific number range and this are all the time you give 20 days for processing 2 days for follow on time following up and you will be able to create listing for this promotion only 20 days before the promotion okay and after your promotion has ended uh, still for 50 days the materials will be list uh, what is the materials will be listed to your site that belong to a particular promotion so and what is the announcement time you will take to uh, announce this so that is the announcement lead time okay. then you have the allocation table type promotion type discount okay then what is the output type determination procedure based on which you are going to announce to the store okay so this is the promotion type configuration okay so what you can do is like you can copy this promotion type okay and create your own promotion type and then play around by modifying the values and see how it behaves in the promotion okay the maximum thing you can not the maximum thing the most important thing you can see is like how your allocation table type is going to affect your promotion performance okay sometimes you might want to use the only the existing stocks for the promotion for example like you you are going to run a clearance okay you want to clear up the existing material and you are running this promotion purely for that purpose if that is a case there is no point in using a allocation table that is going to create external purchase orders so all you might want to is like you want to exhaust the existing stock in the promotion so you might have to give a different allocation table type here so okay, that will make a difference and you define what are all the condition types you might want to give it as a discount okay and that's it okay you check this and see 
what happens you untick this what happens in when you create different different promotions okay so this is the basic configuration of the promotion types okay so i believe you are clear with this uh, please go through this uh, and try to create your own promotion types and play around then only you will be able to remember all these stuff So here is where we define whether promotion should be determined in the sales order processing. Okay. So when you are have, uh, carrying out the organized sale, when I say organized sale, it is you create a sales order based on the sales order you create a um, delivery, and based on the goods issued, you are going to invoice your customer. That is the organized sale or OTC, order to cash scenario. If you are running, if you are running that kind of business also, then your sales order should be able to determine or pick the promotion that is running during that time. Okay. So only when you say that what are all the sales areas that are relevant for promotion. Okay. For example, let us say like for all the walking customers, you are going to give. Yeah, so five percent is discount. Okay, you might okay. When I say this scenario, this scenario is applicable only for the distribution channel that have the physical goods. I mean, that have that need the physical presence of the customer. Okay, if somebody orders through web, they are not going to come physically. Okay, so I don't want to give. the promotional discount or promotional benefits to them okay. so i have to define what are all the sales areas that are eligible for the promotions okay so i have activated my promotions for all these sales areas ww01 is what i am using regularly okay. so i have activated the promotion in this so whenever i create a sales order For the sales area, sales area is a combination of sales organization, distribution channel, and division. So whenever I am creating a sales order for the sales area, the system will look if there is any promotions activated, or I mean like available at that time. If it is, then it will pick that. Okay. And the second thing is not only in the sales area; it is also based on the document type. So let us say like. When I am creating a sales order, I may create it for a normal sales, or I may create it for a. I mean, like uh, when I may create the sales order for normal sales, I may create a sales order for cash sale, which means the customer pays the money upfront and takes the goods along with them, or I may create a sales order for return delivery, which means the material is coming from the. external customer to my store the dc or the house whatever it is okay in this three scenarios yes it is wise to let the system pick up a promotion when i am doing a organized sale yes so the system should pick that okay yes i am i mean the customer is paying up front so there is no waiting period of 30 days or 90 days Okay, I'm raising my money first, so I want to give the promotion benefits to the cash sale customer. Yes, okay. But in case of returns, the customer, the material is coming from outside to me. Okay, so even though it is like a sale transaction, the good flow is in the reverse direction. If that is in that case, it is not. It is a foolish thing to. Let the system pick a promotion or uh, promotion discount. When I say okay, so the prime minister pick a promotion discount on the amount which is being uh, um, given to the customer. Okay, so let us say like the material is ten dollars. Okay, when you are selling the material to the customer, you are giving a discount of let me say ten percentage. So that is a negative value. Okay, so ten minus one, you are going to Sell the material for nine dollars. Okay, when the material is coming from the customer to you, the price is already minus ten 
dollar. Okay. And you are adding one more minus. Minus 10 minus 1 is minus 11. You might end up giving the customer much more than what they had actually paid for. Okay. So, it is not suitable to give promotion or to let the system determine the promotion on a return sale. Okay. So, that is the reason you have to activate the promotions based on the document type. Each scenario which I had told right now is called as, is configured by means of a document type. OR stands for the standard sale. Okay. BVRCS stands for the cash sales. BV. Okay. Let me say like I want to give the promotions automatically determined at the time of um, what do you say? Cash sale. Okay. RE is for return sales. Okay. There is no RE. RE, I think it's part. Yeah. There is no RE. Okay. So, this is how I can let the system to determine the promotion automatically in the normal sales transaction. Okay. Other than that, I told you about, we are discussing about grouping the condition types for promotion. Okay, so you can use this functionality to do the grouping promotions. Okay. So this is basically for it is normally happening mean like it's a normal practice in the in normal sales and distribution as well as in the purchasing. Okay, you do these things and you configure your retail promotions. Okay. So please uh, go ahead and create your own promotion types check. And if you are having any doubts, then come up with a doubt on what you are stuck up with or what is your finding which is not behaving as you expected. Okay.